Welcome to the Ports Garrison. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you. All animals are created equal, or equally, but some are more equal than others. George Orwell, Animal Farm. Hey, greetings. And welcome to the Poets Garrison. I am P.D. Poet, your host. And if you're joining me for the first time, I implore you to subscribe to the channel. That is if you like the content, which is many and varied. And for my returning viewers and subscribers, as always, there's enough love, enough manners, enough respects. All animals are created equally or equal, but some are more equal than others. That statement has proven itself to be true time and time and time again, and it will continue to prove to be the truth in the world that we live in. Now, why do I say this at this moment? Prime Minister of Jamaica, Andrew Olness, today, September 4th, announced that a by-election will be held in the constituency of Northeast St. Anne on September 30th. He said nomination day will be September 11th and the election right after September 30th. Now this comes in the wake of the, a resignation being announced by the sitting member of parliament, Marsha Simit of the JLP. She intended a resignation, we were told, a few days ago. And Less than the time it took for the ink, the proverbial ink, to dry in the pen, the Prime Minister has announced a by-election. Now the questions that I have to ask is, why is it that the persons or the people, the residents of Northeast St. Anne, deemed or viewed as more important, more needing of political representation by others, other parts, persons in other parts of the country? Why is this so? Is it that they're deemed that way? Or they've just been used as political pawns in this big political chess game? Now, it's interesting that not even a few days has passed and the Prime Minister has announced a by-election. Now, that takes me back to a year ago in September 2023 when the then Speaker of the House and the Member of Parliament for a constituency where I was born, Southern Trelawney, resigned after the Integrity Commission charged her for an alleged falsification of, of statements and statutory de de declarations. September 2023, we're now in September 2024. It's one year. And there have been no talk by the government of holding a by-election to elect to put in place an elected representative for the people of Southern Trelawney who have been without representation in the House for a year now. Not a word. So why is it that the people of North East St. Anne are more important than the people from Jewett, Freeman's Hall, Albertown, Warsaw, Troy, and other places? Why is it? I, I am scratching my head to figure out a reason why. No by-election has been held or been called in the space of a year for Southern Trelawney, but in less than a few days, one has been called for Northeast St. Anne. Andrew Olness, Prime Minister, who has been known to play loose ball with the Constitution, seems to be once again playing with democracy and representation of the people. Now, Ron Washi Bryan of the Morant Bay Division passed away in, in April of this year. The people of Morant Bay Division, of the Morant Bay Division, has not heard any talk of a by-election to have an elected councillor to represent them in the St. Thomas Municipal um, St. Parish Council or Municipal Council. No talk of a by-election. There will soon be a, a vacancy in Northwest St. Andrew where Nigel Clark will be leaving to join the IMF. 
he didn't mention a by-election for that seat. Nigel could resign now and have a by-election so somebody could replace him. And you could have both by-elections on the same day. But no, why is not East St. Anne's more important than the other areas without representation? The Council of Ford the Indian Town Division in Clarendon, Margie McLeod McFarlane, also died recently. Still yet no talk of a by-election to, to replace her. But yet there is a rush to, to replace the Member of Parliament in North East St. Anne. And your oldness. What games are you playing with the people of Jamaica? What games? Is it that a representative for North East St. Anne will fit the jigsaw puzzle to be together that you're seeking to replace the Finance Minister who is leaving for the IMF? Is that part and parcel of it? Or is that the main thing that is driving you? Instead of... Giving the people proper rep representation, you're playing that game that fits your needs at the moment. It's not a good look. Just like how you play with the Constitution, you seem to be playing now with overall democracy. That calling by election, people are going unrepresented. Who is spending, for say for South Trelawney, for example, who spends their CDF money? The, prime, the office of the Prime Minister? Andrew, you shouldn't be playing games with the rights of the people to get effective representation in the House of Parliament. You're now in the final year of your term. Why not just call a general election? Why just call a general election? And sort out everything once and for all. But no, you're seeking to have a by-election in only one of the one, two, three, four, five vacancies. Well, four plus one coming around the corner. I see where the People's National Party has said they will not be contesting the by-election in North East St. Saint Anne because they, they think it's political gamesmanship being played and they're not a part of it. Andrew, I don't know, but time and time and time again, they like to take people for idiot, take people for fool. And I've said many, many times, you need to come clean and cut it out. Do the right thing. Don't play political games with the people. If you can call a by-election, call all of them. If you're not, just call a general election and done. Well, these are my thinking, my views on the whole thing. This political gamesmanship that has been played. If you agree or disagree with me, let me know in the comment section. Share your thoughts and we can have a lively discussion there. And until next time, as always, I thank you for watching. It's enough love, enough manners, enough respects. Blessings. Thanks for watching.